This is the best local sports show with sports director Blake Arthur. Wow, what a busy Thursday in sports. We have a ton going on nationally with the NFL draft and Major League Baseball, but also locally at the prep level. We start with the Desert Empire League track and field finals hosted at Palm Desert, and the meet started with the triple jump. Bailey Arredondo out there to capture all the action. Shadow Hills senior Malachi Morell, he won 42-6 for the hoop star. Morell has been a standout for the Knights in the triple and long jump. Todd Shaw, PD, close second. Freshman Cameron Hawkins in third. Boys 4 by 100. Shadow Hills, Palm Desert, the favorites. They finish 1-2. Shadow gets the league title. Jose Gonzalez, Christian Padilla, Joshua Hernandez, and Ambrosio Casillas. Girls 4 by 1. Came down to the wire between Shadow and La Quinta. LQ won by 4 tenths of a second. 52 seconds, the total winning mark. Girls 1,600. No contest at all. Marjorie Lopez cruised by 12 seconds, the first in a league title. Five minutes, 19 seconds, which was a meet record. Boys 100 hurdles. La Quinta with numbers. Three runners, McKee, Ansley, and Batista, but it's Shadow Hill stand up. Michael DeTamble that edged out the Blackhawks. DeTamble, 14.99, just missed the DL record by .01. He grabs this year's league title. Girls 100 hurdles followed. La Quinta favored with Ileana Rivera and Alasia Smoot and they would finish 1-2 respectively. Rivera ran the race of her life, gets the DEL record, posts a 15-5-5. Girls 100 meters, Trinity Barnett of Rancho Mirage, 12-13. Came close to breaking her own record of 11-9-1. Barnett gets the top spot on the podium. And finally, the boys 100, most competitive race of the day. This came down to a photo finish, literally. Brandon Wilson, Rancho Mirage, Jacob Wynn, of Palm Desert, both finishing 11-1-1, but Wynn's chest crossed the line just before Wilson, the sophomore Aztec, wins the DEL title. You can find full results of the meet on our sports page. Wow, what good action there. More good action on the tennis court, Desert Empire League Finals, where this afternoon at Xavier Prep, and it was all Palm Desert, the Aztecs sweeping the doubles and singles titles. Eduardo Rodriguez winning the singles title and the doubles title by Riz Van Begovic and Presser. Here all three of them now are after their win. It's such an accomplishment, you know, um, knowing that you're like the best in the Valley. It's just uh, such a great feeling. And then it's my first year doing the high school tennis and I really like it and I'm really proud of myself. To be honest, I was expecting a O and O, but we couldn't really get there. We got one and one, but we're still champs in, in the end of the day. I think we just played like a solid match and we didn't really make any mistakes. Kind of played a perfect game. Can't stop, won't stop. More high school sports here in the Valley. La Quinta softball completes the perfect league season following their win tonight against rival Palm Desert. And just like the Blackhawk baseball team, LQ softball finishes unbeaten in the DEL. Just a dominant season from start to finish. Congrats to the LQ ladies. Undefeated, undisputed league champions. I want to cry right now. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good. Like, oh, I want to. On your birthday, on your birthday. On my birthday, on my birthday. Very proud. I mean, these girls have faced adversity throughout the entire season, and they've just done phenomenal playing together. I couldn't ask for anything more. They did a fantastic job. <laughs> We got one goal, uh, becoming DEL champions, and now we have our sights on CIF taking things one thing at a time. <laughs> How about that? Indio softball also went undefeated 14-0 in the DVL. You can find more on that on our website.